labo ang labo talaga ng live ko malabo pa din eh Now, now it's time to announce. She's from Cebu. Our top 12. Top 12. Oh my God, guys, keep on shouting your uh, delegates, your favorites, your representatives. In the conjunction with our digital media partners, 
uh, round table created individual websites for each of the contestants and the winner who best used their website to engage with their fans worldwide. The winner is... Give it to Philippines! The digital challenge winner is... Vietnam! Congratulations, Vietnam! To the viewers uh, from Vietnam, congratulations. Your candidates made it to the top 12. Congratulations, Vietnam. Wow, she's so pretty. How you feeling? She's so beautiful. Uh, I'm feeling about a fantastic. I can't believe that I can stay here in the hotel. <sighs> and at that time, I feel a lot of pride and honor to represent my country, Vietnam, in Miss World. And being called Vietnam by others is the best feeling ever to me. And I'm grateful, extremely grateful to represent my country and I want to send a lot of thank you to my brother, my country. Thank you. Congratulations, Congratulations. Vietnam. Congratulations. Back to you, Fernando. Here we go. Well, this is the second semi-finalist. Philippines. And I'm very proud to announce the second one is... Mexico! Woo! Mexico! Congratulations, Mexico! Congratulations! Well, uh... Well, uh, Mexico. Congratulations, you're in the top 12. Uh, so, what life experience most defines you? Well, Peter, I think that a very important stage in my life was definitely my childhood. Coming from a family of migrants, very humble farm workers, um, I really, right from a young age, I learned the true value of hard work and really being perseverant. Wow, it's just and good in say, English. I believe that when you work hard and you stick to your dreams and you really see beyond any limit, any circumstances that may be difficult in that moment, anything is possible. Wow. And being here today is proof of that, so I'm really happy. Thank you. Wow. Well, In fairness, she can speak English well. Congratulations, you, Vietnam. And here we go. The third semi-finalist belongs to Northern Ireland. Ireland. Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Ah? ah, Mexico pala yun. Sorry. Sorry, uh, Vietnam was the first one to call Mexico. Mexico, so, Palayan. Sorry. As a teacher uh, over the last 18 months. Well, I would say I have learned that I am so much more motivated, motivated. at the idea of children's success and success. their development and how much of a vital cog in the engine I am as a teacher to young five year olds, um, especially in the past two years due to the pandemic. And the pandemic, <laughs> it has really, it's really uprooted a lot of education systems um, across the world in every country. And it has had a huge impact. It's really, it's put an incredible amount of stress on senior management, both senior management and a lot of teachers. And I feel as an ambassador for Aware and I, which is a mental health charity in Northern Ireland, it's my job to lobby for care and change to be implemented in lots of education systems across the world because, and I hope, I really hope that Miss World, I mean, I know it would be a fantastic catalyst to help implement that campaign. Fantastic. I have a Thank you very much, Northern Ireland. Thank you very much, Northern Ireland. Thank you so much. Here we go for the four semi finals. And it goes to Philippines, please. The Philippines. Ah! 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 Philippines made it the top 12, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Now, you've got a lot of love here tonight, which is fantastic. Congratulations, Tracy. Ipigat mo yan, girls. Fire others. Thank you, Peter. Well, if I told any of you my life story and my experiences, you would also probably wonder, how in the world did she get here? 
Well, you know what? I'm so much bigger. I'm so much stronger than all of the unfortunate things that had happened to me. And I know in my heart that all those experiences led me to this very day, to this very stage. And I want people to see me, to see themselves in me, and be reminded that what we go through in life should never dictate well, where we'll ever be. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations, Philippines. And Fernando. here we go. This is the fifth semi-finalist. And this goes to Poland. Congratulations, Poland. Okay, maka nakakahinga na tayo ng maluwag-luwag. Pero hindi pa rin tayo no. bottom. Kahit maluwag-luwag na. Vitami. <laughs> Is that right? Okay. Uh, what's your greatest achievement and why? Just... Sorry, let me ask that again. What's your greatest achievement and why? Well, I believe that all of us today are dreaming about having a successful life. What I've learned is that it's more valuable to have a significant life. There are a lot of titles I'm proud of. I got my college degree. I became Miss World Poland. I'm here on this beautiful stage tonight, which I'm super grateful for. However, there was one title I never dreamed of which is a title of being a volunteer, the one that actually makes your life fuller, full of, purpose, full, of grace, <laughs> full of humility. And maybe none of us can be famous, financially successful, or have a worldwide career, but all of us can be great because everyone can serve. And this actually makes life more beautiful. Well said. Thank you very much. And we present to Puerto Rico and the world the sixth semifinalist, and that goes to Somalia. Yeah. Well, you look amazing. Salam alaikum. What inspired you on your journey uh, to the Miss World stage? Wow, this is so shocking. What inspired me to be here today is I've had a dream to always be a representation for so many young women to also shine light on the issues that's happening in my country, the climate crisis that have been displaced. And I just want the world to come together, love our difference, because there's so much issues that we need to focus on. And if we come together and we stand together, we can fix so many things in this world. <laughs> Thank you. You too, Lisa. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Now, the whole world is watching, so what message would you like to give to everybody watching? Well, as someone who has seen many struggles in her life, from undergoing heart surgery for a pacemaker implant just at the age of 12, and also surviving facial burns, my message tonight is about resilience. And, it's, and especially to anyone who may be watching at home or listening and going through a tough challenge, I want you to know that you can rise up from any challenge in your life as long as you have a possibility and a solution-oriented mindset. Remember, as long as you have a heartbeat, you have a purpose. Very, very inspiring. And I love your confidence. As long as you are heartbeat and you have your purpose. Here I correct myself. She represents the United States of America. And here we go to the eighth semi finalist. Representing Colombia. Wow, Colombia, how are you? Wow. I feel amazing. This is just a fantastic night. It's really good when you feel amazing and you look amazing, as you all do. Okay, so what would you like others to learn from you? 
I would like that people learn that the real happiness is always inside. So don't try to find it outside because it's not there. I also, I would like people learn from my own life's experience that dreams do come true. And this is the proof. I'm here in Miss World 2021 representing my whole country, Colombia. So please don't give up. Work hard with discipline, passion, love, and you can accomplish everything you want. Yes, lovely. Thank you very much, Colombia. You're very inspired tonight. Yes, indeed. And here we go. Uh, I'll let me do introduce to you the ninth semi finalist. And this goes to the Czech Republic. Ahoy, Miss Czech Republic. Congratulations. What motivated you to create your own foundation? Not again. Ahoy. <laughs> Thank you for your question. You know, every single smile of these children motivates me and gives me an energy. And Ms. Well motivates me too. It is chance for me to make my voice stronger. I'm ready to be here for everyone who needs me. I'm ready to work. I want to continue building my foundation, not only in Czech Republic, but also in the world, because we have 157 million children who lives in orphanages and this is what motivates me this is when my heart is well said well said thank you so much Bonsoir, Miss France. Congratulations. Uh, what is the most important value in your life? Bonsoir, bonsoir la France. Um, I would probably say benevolence because this value includes so many others, such as kindness, uh, altruism, patience, and we are all different. This is what makes us special and unique. And we all want to be a better person every day. So don't forget to help, don't forget to love, and don't forget to do everything with your heart. Fantastic. I 100% agree we need a lot of love in the world at the moment, right? 11 semi finalists. And this goes to India. Woo! Congrats, India! Hey, girl! Baka naman pati, ano, girl, Miss World? Kunin niyo pa. Tama na. Namaste. Okay, Hello. if you could break any rule, what would it be? Congratulations, of course. Thank you, Peter. A big hello to you and a big hola to Puerto Rico for so warmly welcoming me to this beautiful island, not once but twice. If I could break any rule, it would have to be the unwritten rule about success. I think that society has this definition about success. It ties it to power, money, wealth, and fame. But I don't fully agree with this. I think that success is about this bigger purpose that you connect yourself with. It's about the positive change that you drive through your thoughts and your actions. I think that's what really matters. And influence is only meaningful when you use it in a way that is good. And uh, I think this is a rule that I would not only want to break for myself, but for everybody here. And I think it would make the world a much happier, healthier place. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much. Um... Oh, you can stay there if you like. Thank you, Fernando. Semi-finalist number 12. It goes to... Indonesia! Apokabar! Bye! 
All right, what lessons have you learned from being a chef? She's a chef, you know. Um, there are actually numerous life lessons that I um, um, have learned as a chef. I'm going to be pointing to two points. Uh, the first one, do not be afraid to make mistakes. Mistakes are bound to happen, especially when you are, uh, it's your first time starting, starting it. And besides, um, mistakes are the best teacher of life. Yes. And the second, last but not least, I'm pretty sure everyone here agrees that the secret ingredient of everything is love. It's love. And when you pour some love into it and you watch it transform into something beautiful, something magical, and if I could say, uh, it's something delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, someone's whispering in my ear telling me that we have a tie. Is that right? Not a bow tie. Fernando, you can reveal it. The 13th semi-finalist, and, and that one goes to Cote d'Ivoire. Oh my god, she made it. Congratulations. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, Peter. Uh, your hashtag is assume your identity. So what do you mean exactly by that? Well, you know, Peter, a lot of people suffer from mental health and from self-rejection and don't assume themselves. So assuming your identity is about accepting who you are, whether you're black or white, whether you're tall or short, it's about acknowledging that whoever you are, you are enough. So when you see that hashtag, know that it's about representation and it's about what the world benefits from you because you show up as you are and you shine. And I'm convinced that there's no better fulfillment than being proud of what you represent. So wherever you are back there, back home, to all of you here tonight, remember to always assume your identity. Uh, I'm really happy with that because she said it doesn't matter if you're short. So that makes me feel very good. Uh, congratulations to our top 13 and please show your appreciation for the remainder of our top 40 who put so much effort and time into returning to Puerto Rico to help make tonight's event such a huge success. Thank you, ladies. Now, when we come back, it's the heart and soul of Miss World, beauty with a purpose. No. Beauty with a purpose winner is United States. Beauty with a Purpose winner. She is the Beauty with a Purpose winner, okay? Okay, congratulations. Right, let's announce the remainder of our judges' choices. Stop. Okay. We have second finalist is Top five. Top, uh, top Poland. Six. Top five. Philippines, please. Our third finalist is Indonesia. Wow. Our fourth finalist is Mexico. Philippines. 
Philippines, please. A lot of love for Mexico. Uh, our fifth finalist is Northern Ireland. Oh my God. And our sixth and last finalist is last. Lag-lag Philippines. have randomly drawn a number during which uh, during the break sorry which corresponds to the person who will ask their question your question is from what what have we learned from the covid pandemic Good evening, all. I've learned from the COVID pandemic that we can always try harder to be better and to improve in life. During the COVID pandemic, I think we all went through a lot, but the most important was to try to push through and to always try to find a solution because I believe that in life, it's not about falling, but it's about every time you fall, to be able to get back up. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, next question, guys. Question number two. Can we ever overcome inequality? Sorry, excuse me. Could you repeat it one more time, please? Thank Certainly. You. Can we ever overcome inequality yes absolutely i do think we can overcome inequality by respecting each other between women and women women and men and i do think that equality will submerge if we keep each other and we keep respecting each other our presence and the way we think and that is why i think that we can overcome if we are joined together and we we can overcome it. Thank you. Yeah. Very nice answer. Third, Third question. question. Which human right do you value the most? Can you repeat the question, please? Of course. Which human right do you value the most? Which human right? Human right. I didn't write it. <laughs> Just making sure. Um, the human right that I value the most is dignity because when we listen to other person's perspective, we're able to communicate with them, find their problems and give them solutions. So it's very important that we see everyone as equal, even if they live in places or are in situations where they aren't blessed with the basic rights of shelter, food, water, health care. We need to give the gift of dignity and listen and provide solutions. And that is exactly the work that a Miss World does. She helps communities around the world by giving resources and aid. And it would be my highest honor to be your ambassador for Miss World. Well, I give you credit. She, she's, she's good. Okay, another question, please. Certainly, the next question is, Nelson Mandela said that Miss World was the most important event in the world for empowering young people to be of service to their communities. How has Miss World empowered you? Well, I would say that I have learned a lot from being at Miss World, from being a part of this experience. 
It has been absolutely incredible. I mean, I, this has been, I was just, I'm a primary school teacher in Northern Ireland, a little country girl, and now I'm standing on the Miss World stage here in front of all of you. It's absolutely <laughs> crazy. But no, I think it's just, we, we are women from all over the globe. We, we are different and unique in so many ways, you know, from our background, our culture, our religion. And it has been so lovely to be able to just listen, getting that opportunity to listen to one another, share with each other our experiences, and actually learn from each other so that we can work together to achieve a much better outcome. So, yeah, I think never stop learning. That's something I have definitely learned, and that has empowered me. Oh, I think she should be a politician. That was very, very good. Okay, for Poland. For Poland. What is the most important discovery yet to be discovered? What is the most important discovery that hasn't been discovered yet that could be discovered, that you think? The most important discovery. I believe that this is no one, but every day we learn something new. And we all have unique experiences. And all of us can learn something about ourselves and to be more offensive and personal, what I've discovered is that it costs us so little to enrich the life of others. And this is the cost that we can all afford. And believe me, it's worth its price. So if you would like to discover something new, just try to learn to be rich more in empathy, in compassion, in gratitude, because we can all do it, as I mentioned before. We can all be great because everyone can serve. And this discovery seems, seems so simple, but it's actually life willing. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. And final question, please. Uh, final question for Mix Mexico. What would you say to the future generations about protecting the planet? Thank you for your question. I've always believed that child are the future of our world. Therefore, we need to really take care of them and share love. And something very important nowadays is also letting them know the importance of taking care of our planet. We take this planet for granted, but it is not. We enjoy nature. I personally love nature. And I think that what we really need to do is start from home. Everything is determined by home. Children's youth is the most determining age in someone's life. And therefore, everyone who is listening to me and all the children who surround you, we are all responsible for taking care of this planet. Thank you. Okay, we'll be back after the break. Thank you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to announce the results in reverse order. The second runner-up is
Well, we have a new Miss World, and as Poland now returns to be crowned by Tony Ansin, let's put your hands together for a brand new Miss World.